born in Korea, raised in Waukesha, and embracing her in between through her creations. Milwaukee-based artist Emma Daisy sat with our Tony Atkins to discuss her work and how she hopes it brings a little more joy to a world divided. I did 30 pieces that were all different variations. A peek inside Emma Daisy's creative sanctuary in Walker's Point. You may not know her personally, but if you know Milwaukee, you may have seen her work. Work including murals like here near James Lovell Street and Wisconsin Avenue or here at the Bayshore Town Center. It all pops with color, the bright images created to bring out joy in others. Joy is not just a flat um, emotion. There's depth to it that we don't always um, attribute to it. The joy Emma finds comes from her own personal journey. Born in Korea at age one, Emma and her older brother were adopted and raised in Waukesha. Emma says at times she rejected her Asian heritage while trying to fit in with others. You know, being a Korean adoptee in a very white community um, and feeling very in between two different, two different cultures, two different, you know, backgrounds that I didn't quite feel like I fit into. Over time, she embraced her complete self, which not only helped her fit in, it helped her stand out, allowing her to find what she calls the in-between. I mean, it's interesting because I think on a very personal level, um, you know, a lot of my work explores the spaces in between. There's a little bit of in-between in all of us, Emma says. Like her art, not all abstract nor naturalistic. Instead, a layered celebration of a journey to embrace oneself. You can celebrate and and be joyful about who you are and where you come from and um, all the parts of yourself. And if you don't feel like you fit, you can absolutely forge your own path. Paths normally unique, and that's okay. In Milwaukee, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News.